What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. In this video we'll be taking a look at another custom room for OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro which is based on Android 12. So here I have my OnePlus 9 on which I've installed this room called Stag OS which is based on Android 12. In this video we'll talk about the features of this room, what all things are working and what all things are not working and at the end of this video I'll also tell you guys whether it can be used as daily driver or not. Before starting with the video let's keep a like target of 400 likes on this video and also we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel so it's a humble request do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. So this is my OnePlus 9 let me show you the software information. Here you can see Android version is Android 12 security patches of 5th December 2021. Room comes with Sigma kernel and the name of this room is Stag OS. And also if you guys wish to install this room, you can find the installation guide at the end of this video. These are the benchmark results. With single core device have scored 1073 and with multi core device have scored 3361. With Android 2 benchmark application, device have scored 7,74,641. And these are some pretty good scores. When it comes to custom room, most users have this question whether they'll be able to use the payment services or not. So let me clear one thing guys, you won't have any kind of issues using payment services as you can see a device is certified and room also passes through safety net check. I've used Google Pay application after installing this room and till now no issues to be found while using that app. And another good thing about this room is we have the support of Widevine L1. If you take a look at the Netflix application, it says Widevine L1, HDR capability is HDR10. So you guys won't have any kind of issues watching full HD videos on this custom room. And don't expect complete stability on Android 12 custom rooms in these early stages. It might take more time to get stable Android 12 custom rooms. On this room also we have some minor issues which I'll tell you in the later part of this video. Room comes with Pixel Launcher pre-installed. We also get these Bloom wallpapers from Pixel 6 series and these wallpapers do have motion effects. Monet have been working fine and also we have this theme option on this custom room. So if you're not liking the wallpaper based theming part, you can anytime use custom colors. Just enable this option and use the custom color hex code. By default, we get this AOSP camera pre-installed, but I'll leave the link of Google camera 8.4 and that camera have been working fine on my OnePlus 9. It's a normal APK file, just install it and you're good to go. We get this tag wallpaper application pre-installed on this room. So if you want to download the official wallpapers of Stag OS, then just use this application and you'll also find other wallpapers from OnePlus 2. Both the bands of Wi-Fi along with Wi-Fi calling services doesn't have any kind of issues. All the sensors does their job pretty well like accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass and gyroscope. Battery backup is decent enough. I've been getting around 5 hours of screen on time without gaming. You can also find bit of customization options. For example, you can customize the status bar where we have option to change battery styles. Then there are a few more options of lock screen, power menu and notification. Though there are not much of customization options present right now. Under security, we don't have the ability to unlock the device using face unlock, though fingerprint unlock is quite fast. And at last we have all of the stuff from Android 12, like this new security tab, followed by this new privacy dashboard. Also the ability to disable mic and camera access in the quick setting panel. And now let's talk about some of the minor issues what I have encountered while using this room. And one of them is broken auto brightness. So as you can see here, if I enable or disable auto brightness, nothing happens on the screen. I'm not sure it's a bug with Rome or it's only the case with my device. Gaming dashboard also doesn't pop up if you run any game. And here under gaming dashboard, if I try to enable do not disturb for games, the settings completely crashes as you can see here. And after that, some minor UI glitches which you can take a look clock is completely under the front camera and here you can take a look at the screenshot of my lock screen wherein when I use the pin to unlock the device the clock is completely moving out of the screen so guys these are some of the minor issues which I have encountered on this custom room and if you guys ask me about the daily usage of this room then if you can compromise on the above bugs which I have mentioned then you can use this room as a daily driver none of the custom rooms based on Android 12 are completely stable everything is in early stages and hoping to see stable rooms in the upcoming days. And now let's take a look at the installation guide if you guys wish to install this room. Before installing the room, make sure your device is running Oxygen OS 11 instead of Oxygen OS 12. And it's highly recommended that you have Oxygen OS 11.2.10.10 running on your OnePlus 9 series. As you can see here, under device state, my device is unlocked. I've already unlocked the bootloader of the device. 
and if you guys aren't aware about unlocking the bootloader you can find the guide in description below using that guide you can easily unlock the bootloader of your device after that on your pc you will be requiring these four files one is recovery file second is partition copy and the third one is rom file fourth file is this platform tool all the download links can be found in the description below so once you have all these things on your pc unzip platform tools and what you have to do is you need to copy these three files and place it inside the platform tools main folder so here you can see under platform tools i have the partition file recovery and the room file all these three files are placed inside platform tools now what you have to do is you need to open up command prompt here easiest way to open up command prompt is just type cmd in the address bar and hit enter this will open up command prompt in the platform tools folder but open this command prompt after you place the files inside the platform tool folder now first check whether your device is properly connected in fast boot mode or not by giving command fast boot devices and if you see the serial number that means your device is properly connected in fast boot mode and if you don't get any serial number over here you can find an video guide in the description below that will help you update your fast boot drivers if your device doesn't appear here now first thing what we have to do is we need to boot a device into recovery so for that what you can do just give a command here fast boot flash boot give a space and now you have to drag and drop this recovery file so here we have the recovery file just drag and drop in the command prompt and hit enter If you don't get any error now on your device use volume key to navigate to recovery mode so once you see recovery mode on the top side just press the power key to make selection so as you can see a device have successfully booted into recovery now the next step is using volume key select apply update hit the power key and next you have to select apply from adb again hit the power key to make the selection now on your pc give the command adb side load drag and drop this zip file of partition and hit enter so inside recovery once you hit the enter on your pc you'll get this option signature verification failed install anyway so again use the volume key to select yes and make selection using power key This process might take around 10 to 20 seconds. Once done, now again use volume keys to go back, go to advance and from here reboot recovery once. Once you are back into recovery, go to factory reset and format data. Once that's done, again go back, select apply updates, apply from ADB and now we'll side load the rom file. Again give the command ADB side load and drag and drop the stag os rom file hit enter and now this process might take around 3 to 4 minutes and there we go installation process have successfully completed we'll go back and we'll reboot system and here we have the boot animation of stag os and now we have successfully booted our OnePlus 9 with Stag OS. So guys, this was a quick look on this custom ROM based on Android 12 and the installation guide. If you still have any kind of issues, you guys can let me know in the comment section below or you can join our Telegram group for the same. As of now only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video then do give me a thumbs up. Also if you are new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.